content. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pagan and welcome back to Thursday. Happy Thursday, everybody. We're moving on to the next video of the JYP Entertainment playlist. The reason for this is I recently thought if I start reacting to the ninth on Stray Kids' YouTube channel or on the Stray Kids Subs YouTube channel, I feel like I may get spoilers for the Stray Kids survival show and I'm trying to avoid those spoilers as much as possible because after we finish Kingdom Legendary War over on Twitch, we will be watching the, the Stray Kids survival show. So uh, maybe it's a better idea to hold off on reacting to anything about the ninth until we've seen the survival show. However, we still do have the next video available over on the JYP Entertainment Playlist and today it's actually the Stray Kids I Am Not trailer. I think I Am Not is the name of the album if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> uh, so yes, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be reacting to today. I hope you enjoy. All right, so this is the Stray Kids I Am Not trailer. If I'm not mistaken, I Am Not is an album. They say How many babies stay? Brainwashed into the same system, they expect perfection. So how can we be different? No, no, wait, what? Whoa, what? Oh, what? A sign has come, an omen, an omen, a, a glitch. What? What? This is a very conceptual album. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually speechless. This is so... Uh, performance art. Wow, they're just flashing through everybody. Oh my god, Sungmin is like baby Sungmin! They're all like, oh god, I... Alright, <laughs> I'll break it down in a minute. Oh, this could be a dystopian film. Wow. Okay. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. Obviously, very clear, um, like District Nine um, vibes here. So obviously, this is the album from like. So District Nine is on the album. Okay. Wow. Oh. Ah. Uh, Jesus. I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. I want to go back to listen to um, Bang Chan at the beginning. Because this really struck me. I just didn't expect this. They say people are born different. But why does it feel like we're the same? Us. Uh, brainwashed into the same system. They expect perfection. So how can we be different? Fuck. 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 I really like the way that was said as well, where he stops before he says glitch. This is incredible. Um, 
definitely a commentary on self-discovery and um, personalities and trying not to fit into an archetype or a stereotype potentially. Um, I wonder if it's a commentary on society as a whole or if it's commentary more on K-pop and the um, the business or the music industry business of how they're all expecting perfection and yet they're expected to also express themselves differently than everybody else. It's actually very, very interesting. Very interesting commentary as well. I, I do feel like that that could be more along the lines of maybe the idea behind this album because of especially with with k-pop in particular or pop music in particular it's almost like a machine now you know like there's a formula it works people just regenerate that formula all the time and i wonder if that's what they're getting at in this trailer um it's so beautifully done the color is gorgeous like the contrast with the white is fantastic and of course we'll see this like um here in the sky when he sees the glitches uh, we also see that in District 9 as well, where the drone comes through the barrier, this like f- unseen barrier. And it's it's like it's like stray kids are waking up. That's what it feels like. It feels like stray kids are not identifying with anything, but identifying with everything. And they are not about it. <laughs> They're not about it because this seems so generic especially here like this is listen you could do a whole paper on this trailer you could do a whole paper on this trailer and then maybe even like when you listen to the songs and 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 maybe break them down lyrically and meanings wise i i guarantee you could probably do an essay on this um really interesting here where he's smiling in the tv and it's static so it's almost like um the face that you put out to the world but also like the face you'll portray on media even a commentary on social media and how everything is usually perfect and happy and smiles and social media and yet behind closed doors that's not the case at all most of the time so this section beautiful commentary on i think how um how everybody is perceived in the media um felix's section just feels expressive explosive almost it just feels um uh repressed in a way and it's slowly making its way out of Felix is how it feels where he's smashing the mirror in like um I guess like smashing a glass ceiling breaking expectations with Ian it's like he's seeing his identical self and again I think like he's he's identifying with someone outside of himself which is a very cool commentary on like how to be um how somebody could be introverted and extroverted at the same time but also how you can see yourself outside of the current situation and recognize that you'd need to get out of that that's probably a little bit 2d for what ion's little, little little part in that was but just 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 spitting words here friends just spitting vibes so this is actually a really cool commentary he has either painted all of these paintings the same or he is trying to replicate paintings that have all been done the same when I first saw it, the my immediate thought was that he has actually painted all of these paintings and he's trying to improve on perfection every single time, which is so reminiscent of like K-pop industry standards, music industry standards, um, celebrity or social status in general. Like it's always like consistency, perfection, turn out the next best thing. Like you can't falter, you can't drop at all or you're going to lose everything. This is what this feels like. This feels like you're in the mind of someone who is continually trying to replicate perfection, Um, which is an image of, it looks like a shattered body or a stained glass body. Yes, super interesting. Also, his face is so immature at this stage like i feel like he really grows into his features it sounds so fucking stupid to say but like he's such baby sungman here and it's like so adorable this here as well feels like um wujin's character feels like he's alone in a room full of people i feel like we can all identify with that um you know people are potentially there but they are it makes you feel alone. It makes you feel isolated because you don't identify with who they are or you don't want to identify with who they are. This one with Han, it almost looks like he's A, being worshipped or B, investigated for something if he is different. Um, there's a close-up on his shadow as well and there's an emphasis here between dark and light. Very interesting. Um, probably not getting a full deeper meaning on that. I might have to dive into that a little bit later when I'm thinking about it more, but it does feel like he's either idolized or he's being um, criticized 
for being different, potentially for uh, the shoes that he's wearing as well. I think at the beginning we saw um, like everyone is wearing these kind of uh, flat shoes, like tennis shoes. And although Han is wearing white shoes, they're different and they're a characteristic of who he is as well. Now, I don't think that the emphasis is actually on the shoes, to be fair, but it could be both. It could be an emphasis on the shoes and the shadow that is growing, like a growing darkness within Han, um, which is interesting. And then he clenches his fist and it almost feels like a growing anger within him to to resist conforming. Hyunjin is a really cool sequence regarding science and technology and how you perceive that and how that can alter your reality and virtual reality. I think this is a really cool little sequence that um, the person's face is blurred. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't even notice that transition earlier where it's like paused in a tape, like a VHS tape. Mm, I like that. Again, just a commentary about, I think, social media or media in general and how we're all perceived. This ending here feels very... Um, uh, prequel vibes to District 9 almost that they're identifying that they can be different and that they can show themselves or express themselves and see each other for who they are and they can come together in the fact that they are not identifying with the group that they're in yeah this was really cool I, I, I feel like ugh, everything about this trailer was so intriguing so interesting like I said you could probably write a whole essay on just this um so i'm really excited to delve into the concepts of the album um i wonder how many of those songs have music videos or not maybe i'll need to do a reaction to um the album in certain parts it, let me know if you're interested in that maybe i'll do like a part one part two and part three depending on how many songs are on the album and if they don't have any music videos i can watch a lyric video to react to as well uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments if that is something you'd like to see. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Go out there and consume some Stray Kids content. Share the love. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for any further reactions or for uh, future reactions. If you'd like trailer breakdowns or actual album breakdowns, let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you really, really like the video, you can hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye!